Greta Ambrose of Victoria St. Mark is now recovering from a near-death experience after sustaining serious cuts and bruises to her neck and hands on Tuesday. She said the injury was inflicted upon her after a loose tread left behind from kite flying over the Easter holiday got entangled on a passing vehicle. This tread somehow got a raptor on her neck. She said she was awaiting the SGU bus to get to school when the incident occurred. I immediately tried to free myself so I used my hands and I was very unsuccessful because apparently to my knowledge it was, um, it was attached to a vehicle so the twine was going in my direction. It was coming to me in my direction. So I used my hands and it just ripped off my skin and everything from my neck to my fingers. I was left in a lot of pain. I went into the clinic in St. George's University and they told me I was very lucky because if it was on for maybe five seconds more, it probably would have taken off a piece of my vein in my neck or something like that. So they told me I was very lucky. Along the route to Victoria, materials left over from kites hanging on electric poles and wires are still evident. Miss Ambrose has been unable to attend school for the past two days, which has resulted in her missing out on her studies. Sleepless nights because of all the pain and there's a lot of swelling. I have to put um, a little warm water on it so the swelling could go down so I can get an ease up. And I also have a lot of back pain because I cannot sit straight with my neck, so I have a lot of lower back pain and I have to lie down all the time. So that's why I cannot go to school and I've missed out probably more than 10 classes because I have a lot of classes in a day. So it's been very, I'm at a disadvantage right now. The SG student says she is grateful to have escaped such an ordeal, but regrets that it had happened around the time of her exams. Although not fully recovered, Ambrose will be forced to attend school on Friday to write an exam. For GBN News, I am Raquel Sinclair.